My name is Peter Nessler. I am a seven-time world rope skipping champion. I am traveling around New Zealand doing demonstrations along with the National Heart Foundation trying to promote Jump Rope for Heart. And our goal is to get out there, get the kids excited about rope skipping, showing them what's possible with the rope, and then we're teaching them actually how to skip. The kids are having a fantastic time. We've been working with them. We try to get them really excited about it. I show them all the different types of skills that are possible with the rope, and then we get them excited about it by um, getting in there and actually doing the skills. So we break them down step by step. How do you do the different tricks? And then I try to show them different styles of jumping so that regardless of their skill level or um, their interest in skipping, that they're able to find something that they can do. Um, if you haven't really tried skipping before, um, the goal with any cardiovascular exercise is doing it at least 20 minutes. You want to try to do at least 20 minutes minutes um, continuously. Now when you first start off skipping you're probably not gonna be able to jump for 20 minutes straight. Most people, even people that are in good shape, have a hard time going that fast or that long. So usually what I recommend is try skipping as long as you can and then there are a lot of non-skipping moves where you're gonna just do side swings where you can kind of march in place and just turn the rope on the side. You want to keep your heart rate up but the goal is obviously make it a lot of fun so you don't want to kill yourself trying to do it. Um, so just skip as long as you can. When you get a little bit tired to spin the rope off on the side, try to do a little bit um, more down tempo exercise when you feel up to it start jumping again and then try to work up to doing about 20 minutes. This is by far one of the best uh, all around uh, exercises that you can do whether it's an aerobic exercise really good for your heart which is one of the reasons the Heart Foundation is sponsoring this uh, but it's also a full, great full body workout whether you're looking to lose weight um, or just get in shape. I mean it works your legs, works your arms, works your forearms, works your hands hand-eye coordination. There are so many great benefits to rope skipping. Anybody of any age are able to skip. I've worked with people from as young as four years old all the way up to 80-year-old people that are were interested in doing it. Now obviously depending on your age and your fitness level um, you may want to pick and choose exercises and types of jumping um, and uh, intensity levels uh, based on where you are fitness wise, but people of any age can definitely do this. I have been skipping for about 25 years. Uh, most of the skills that I do took around 15 years to learn. Um, there are some skills that I still learn today. I try to make them up or I find other people that are um, really creative with the sport. So there, you never know it all. There's always something that you can learn, but um, I'm always you know, trying to work on new skills. But the majority of what I do took about 15 years. I honestly don't know when I will finish traveling. Uh, my wife and I love being on the road. We love seeing the world. We love working with kids and we love meeting new people. So as long as that's the case, we'll probably still be doing this.